I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome to a hermit's look at stories untold. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this is gonna play out on YouTube. Um, I'm playing this for for one reason, and it, so it is a text-based adventure game with a twist. And when I was a kid growing up, like one of the first games that I played that I loved so much was Zork, which is a text-based like no graphics. You read. It says there's a house in front of you, and you type go north, and then it goes to the house. And you'd have to like draw maps on graph paper. My dad would bring graph paper in from work, and I'd have these huge maps all drawn and showing who had what and everything. Uh, and it was amazing. It was like it was like a reading a book instead of watching a movie. You know, it was, it was so much fun. They've taken that and they've added a crazy twist to it. And, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. This this game, by the way, has some real heavy, like, Stranger Things, uh, <laughs> Stranger Things influence, as you can see. But uh, let me know if this is entertaining for you guys. Uh, you know, if you, if you thought this was entertaining, drop a like on the video, let me know in the comments, because there's four kind of mini games in this, and I don't know if, don't know. Like, I played the first one, it's kind of cool, but I don't know how it's going to translate to YouTube. Hey, right, so, like I said, Stranger Things. Tell me this ain't Stranger Things. I like it. <laughs> but, I mean, hello? Stories Untold. Okay. So, that's going to load up. And this right here is the screen. 80s kids know that noise. <laughs> the old 2400, no, 1200 baud modem. Ooh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Ad lib gold sound cards, anybody? Yeah, right, bringing it back. 486DX2100. Okay. So I'm gonna do the reading, and this is it. I mean, we can like kind of look around a little bit, but it gets real crazy. Okay, here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic, I think is how you say that, as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay, so this is literally how you do it. You say, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Okay, read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, Found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. In your... Okay, press enter. So, and then it'll... Like, I haven't found a way to skip. Like, when it's typing this stuff out, so we just kind of, like, as we go, you know. Okay, it's good to be back. So, uh... Exit car. You open the car door and step out. Oops. The house is grand. Sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay, so the note said we had to go turn on the generator. So we will say, uh, go yard, yard, go yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Now the thing that uh, is a little, little weird with this one, uh, they assume like you have to you have to read that note that says that the generator is there there's no other way to know that there's a generator in this room 
kind of a design flaw for me, but hey, that's fine. Uh, so you say turn on generator. Oh, uh, start generator. There we go. Uh, what? Look, generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Okay, turn on. Turn, start generator. What? Did I not do that? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. You switch the generator on, and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Okay, so now we can say, go back. You walk around to the front of the house. Okay, in front of you is the front door. So we will say, uh, go door. Okay, uh, open door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. We have a key. Unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on light. You flick the switch and the light come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay, so let's uh, go kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Okay, go utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key is. Could be, okay. All right, go back. So we may need a key to the kitchen. I mean, to the utility room, maybe. All right, and let's see, uh, go living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time here, in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Okay, so not much there, go back. And then we go back to the hallway. See, and this is where I want to like s speed it up, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, go stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister. Pictures adorning the walls, images of happy times. Go bathroom. Oh, bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm, you're in the bathroom. There's nothing much to note, but it's all in good order, okay? See, now this, here's what I would say. As, as a, a fan of these games, I would pay serious money to play a version of Zork like this. And there's like Zork 1, 2, and 3, and then there's a Zork 0, which I think had graphics, and then a, another Zork that had graphics. But for the ones that didn't, dude, it would be so cool is if you had something like this and you type it in and then as you're going from room to room, there's a, an automatically, it automatically updates a map. And it's one of those cool, we all drew it on gra grid paper, graph paper. Like, oh, it would be so cool. I would pay serious money to play those like that. Oh, okay, anyway. Um, okay, yours and your sister. So. Go bedroom. Which bedroom? Yours or my sister? Go my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open bag. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Oh, which happens to be, if you notice, right? The Futuro 120K, uh huh. Okay, it's all, it still needs to be set up. Set up Futuro, uh, -uh. set up compute, computer. 
You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Okay, play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. So you see this right here? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Forgot about that. That, uh, that's an audio cassette. And we actually played games that were stored on audio cassettes. Kids these days, they don't know. So now things get a little twisted. The house abandoned. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. Ooh, it's all changed now. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, open, glove box. See, now it's all different. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Re, 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 note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, the car, get out, the car, get out, the car, get out, get out, get out, get out. What? What? Okay, so let's see, uh, get out. You force the warped car door open and fall out. What? Okay, so I'm, ass I'm assuming, oh, the house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. I'm assuming we still have to go. You step through the debris and back uh, to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. Then the weeds crawl up the side of the house. This is not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Start generator. Look at that. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. How crazy, right? Uh, okay, go back. You go back to the front of the house. But who was phone? <laughs> the house looks abandoned. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, unlock door. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Open door. You hear that? Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains. Oh! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Stop clock. Somehow the alarm stops. You feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Go stairs. You head up the stairs. They creak, <gasps> same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Oh, behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Who was phone? Phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever, you consider the worst. Hang up the phone. Relief. Whoa. Ooh. What is going on? Okay, so open my room. Oh, go my room. 
The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Go, sister. Room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go, go bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Go back. You step back into the landing. Okay. So we have to find a four digit code. Now the clock says 999. Unlock my door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and you can now input the code. 9999. You need a working four digit code. You know it's in this house somewhere. Okay, go down. You let go of the lock. Okay. So we gotta go downstairs. Maybe it's downstairs somewhere. Woof. I got the chills. You go back downstairs. All right, you're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. Okay, let's go, go kitchen. You go inside the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall. Oh, and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Read wall. Oh! In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Go utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Ooh. Go back. 1986. We gotta remember that. Ooh, the shoes are wet. Ew. Okay, so we're gonna go check out the living room really quick to see what's in there. <laughs> the living room. Anything of value in there. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. No, go back. Okay. So we'll go up and we'll type in 1986. All right. Oh. We're gonna, what happens when we find ourselves? Go up. You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. The stairs creak. They stairs creak. <laughs> they stairs be creaking. Okay. Unlock my door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. Okay. And we input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Okay. And we hear it behind us, man. Okay, open my door. Oh, snappers. You open the bedroom door. Go my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. I was out of my hands. Oh, it was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. Uh, oh, 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 enter to continue. Okay, there's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Talk to man. Uh, 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 say hello. Kill man. <laughs> you are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my 
default. I don't believe you! Like you mean it! Please! It was all my fault! It was all my fault! Say it! It was all my fault! Finally. Whoa. Right? It's weird. And now because we've unlocked this one, let's see, will it let us click through? Pass this stranger things, stranger danger. Can he escape? No, we're gonna go. So, yeah, oh yeah, here we go, we're coming back. So yeah, there's three other ones, the lab conduct, the station process, and the last session. All three of these apparently maybe uh, connect into one story because it says four stories, one nightmare. So if you guys want to see more of this, I know it's weird. It's just watching me type and, and tell a horror story basically. Um, but if you want to see more, drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below, all right? That is it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, take care, brush your hair, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Burst.